Annyeonghaseyo! Hi everyone, this is Arielle, one half of Soju for Two, and I know it's been like two and a half weeks since I talked to you guys, um, but my friend from home just left, and we had about eight days where she was here, and we did a million things. Um, so I have about like five hours of footage that I have to sort through to make a video of everything I did with her. We basically spent the entire time just like sightseeing, going to cool cafes. Uh, she's a vegetarian, so I found a lot of vegetarian restaurants in Seoul. So if you're a vegetarian, I can probably give you some hints and some helpful places to visit. Um, so that was an amazing, you know, it was really cool to get to see my friend from New York and also to see all these places that I probably wouldn't go to if I, you know, wasn't showing someone around. So that was really nice. Um, I want to tell you guys also, my sister had the baby, so I'm going to put a picture of the baby here. Uh, so her name is Serafina, and both my sister and the baby are doing really well. Uh, my sister is just adjusting to life as a new mother and having a newborn at home. Um, the baby is ridiculously cute and sweet, um, but she, you know, she doesn't sleep a lot. She sleeps for two hours at a time and then she wakes up, so um, Marsh is very busy at the moment, for sure, but the baby is beautiful. We love her. Um, and yes, it was really exciting. She was born April 9th, so it was a very happy day for us. Uh, even though it was a very long delivery, so I'm sure Marsh will make a video about like her labor process and all that craziness so you guys can hear about it. Um, she might be doing a new channel, so we'll sort of keep you guys posted um, about that and the developments of having her new channel, or maybe her mom channel, um, so that could be really cool. But she did start watching a new drama. She started watching the Japanese version of Mischievous Kiss, um, some sort of like Kiss in Tokyo or something. Um, I haven't started yet because my friend was here, so I really didn't watch any dramas, but she said that she just started and she's kind of liking it, so she's like on one episode. So maybe I'll try to watch it to put up a watching now of it. Um, other things going on right now in Seoul, it's the cherry blossom time. Um, the weather has sort of just turned to being like a little bit spring-like. It was pretty cold for a while there. Um, yesterday we went to Yoido to the um, festival, uh, the cherry blossom festival. And I have tons of video for you guys on that, so I'm going to make a giant video, don't worry, um, on how pretty everything is. But I would say the cherry blossoms are like... Um, it's not my, it's not my favorite festival because like, it's really pretty and romantic, but like, I don't know if you necessarily need to go to a festival to see it because they're all over and the festival's kind of super crowded, um, but it was really, really pretty. So we did tons of stuff past couple weeks. We went to Hello Kitty Cafe, we went in Hongdae, um, we went to Namsan again, you went to Palaces, um, she went to a bunch of museums. Um, just a ton of really cool stuff, like, went to a board game cafe, and, um, I'm trying to think of all the things we did. We just did so much that I can't even remember. We went to brunch at a really cool restaurant, um, so I just did a lot of exploring, so it was super awesome. Um, other things, while I was, we were out shopping in Myeongdong one day, I bought a few, um, $1 nail polishes. The brand for this is Eclipse, <clears throat> which you definitely cannot see on that one. Maybe you can see on this one. Um, and I'm wearing this color on my nails, as well as my uh, pointer, I have this color, which I'm super loving. These are like neon shades. I also got a neon pink, which I'm not wearing yet, but I will be. And I got this, which was a long-lasting quick dry. Um, this is like supposed to be, I thought it was just like a quick dry, like a top coat, but it is pink. Um, I thought it was going to be clear. Um, so it's fine to put over the orange sort of color. It's kind of cute with it, but like to put over the yellow, it didn't work out well. So, just a funny little thing that happened. With some, but these were a dollar, and I love them. They're like super <clears throat> pigmented, and they go on like a lot of color, which I really like. Because I don't like it when you put on a color and it's like really weak, and like you're not getting into the yellow. Like I tend to find with a lot of yellows, like you put it on, it just looks like you need seven coats for it to look like yellow. Whereas this was like immediately like intense color. Um, which I loved, and it was one dollar, so awesome. <clears throat> Less than a dollar, like 70 cents or something. Um, okay, other things going on. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, what I'm doing this weekend. So tomorrow, I'm going to have, like, dinner with my girlfriends, and then we're going to Monkey Beach, um, our favorite club, um, which is cool, because right now they sort of changed it a little bit. It's a little less, like, dive bar, and it's a little more, like, 
they you can't smoke in there and it's a little bit like less smoky and dirty and nice so they have this giant Jenga tournament so it seems pretty fun um I just love it there I think it's great we went last weekend for my friend's birthday and we had a blast um so that was definitely a, a good night um and then on Saturday I'm going to the FC Seoul game versus Daegu I think or Ulsan I'm not sure, but it's like 2 o'clock game, so I'm excited for that. And then Saturday night, I'm going to um, a cool sort of like, my friend's DJing at a club in Hongdae called <clears throat> Myeonggong Wall. I'll have to look it up and tell you guys later, but it's like a sort of 60s surf music slash rock slash like awesome music um, concert on Saturday night, so I'm excited for that. And then Sunday, I'm probably going to do brunch and then... Have a low key afternoon since I've been so busy. I'm like exhausted. Um, next week I also have open classes again, so craziness, um, <clears throat> which I'm not really that worried about because just more open classes. I've already done that. Um, and I also wanted to mention North Korea, um, just because I've gotten a lot of messages about North Korea recently and like how it is living here and all that sort of stuff. So again, I just want to reiterate that like from my perspective, North Korea is not as like. Not that it's a non-issue, it's just something that we don't really bring up at school often. People, when I talk to my co-teacher about it, she's like, she's not really worried. Like, it's not more so, she's not more worried than she ever usually is. <clears throat> I'm not trying to say, like, you know, we're all naive or in denial, but, which we might be. But, um, it's really a non-issue here at the moment, even though the media back home is making it a big deal. Um, though I guess in the past few days it hasn't been because of the, um, really upsetting, um, I saw the Boston marathon attack which was just horrible to see and I think things like that for someone like I'm not in the country anymore but I can still feel like uh I think just even through Facebook and things like that with, like, I have a few friends who live in Boston there's that sense of like I love to see that unity people coming together after something like that happens because you just don't know why it happens you don't understand so I think like you know when, I, when we saw that happen at first it's so upsetting and just oh, our hearts really go out to the families like I just think we're all even though a few friends my friends here are from Boston and they're like just telling me about like how upset they were and how their families were affected just like psychologically so I just you know I really understand that like sense of fear that they people might have now but I think you know Boston is a strong city so hopefully they'll be able to you know come out of it and be stronger and you know that's definitely I think the vibe that you're getting from Boston and the city that they're really trying to stick out. Um, and then I just heard about the plant blow blowing up, sort of fertilizer plant in Texas. So it's not a good week, guys. Not a good week at all. But um, I had a good week here in Seoul because my friend was visiting. But yeah, I'm really sad about those things happening back home in the States. Um, it's just so crazy. But I guess that's a long video for you guys today. But I will be posting a giant video, um, probably about 10 or 12 minutes. Um, soon, sort of harnessing all the things I did with my friend when she was here. Um, and you can expect that in the next couple days. I'll post it as soon as I can. And if you guys have any questions for me, as always, put them down below and I'll try to answer them. Bye, guys.